What's up, party people? Welcome back. New episode of Pasty Gaming. We're playing Crow Country, game on Steam. This is episode three, so if you haven't checked out the other two episodes, please check those out so you can get all caught up to where we are at now. For everybody already caught up, uh, I'll just go ahead and give a recap. We went to the fairy fountain, we solved the little puzzle so that we could uh, filter the water, look at the reflection pond. It gave us a little notification that we could shoot the tree, uh, which I wonder... I wonder if you could have shot that part of the tree anyways to, to have the fairy pop up. Either way, uh, fairy gave us a bronze key. We've unlocked several areas. So now we are going to explore those areas that where the bronze key was. Um, yeah. So yeah, we're just going to go check that out. Um, we... Yeah, that's pretty much it. We fought a couple new monsters. Um, nothing, nothing terrible. But I will say that even though I felt like we had a lot of ammo to begin with, we uh, definitely don't now. As you can see, I have 14 bullets. And the enemies take, I don't know, between 2 and 7, I would say. Definitely good to use some of the, like, splash damage that you can get from the red barrels or other stuff. Alright, so, in here, uh, we did the fairy pond, there's the swan boats, and we can't do that yet. We need a little egg to let us in there, so there's this door, which we can't get into, but we can go through this little door. Um, I think there's one more door that we can explore. We're gonna go do that in this section. This is where the big mechanical crow is. Uh, we, we fought a we fought a big dude that was over here. Um, so we're gonna see if we get anything from the vending machine. Okay. I wonder if it's like a every time you log in, it's a certain change chance to get stuff out of it. I don't know. All right, what we got here? Haunted hilltop. <laughs> okay. So, I don't know if we want to go through this area yet. I hear something. So the haunted hilltop was supposed to have some sort of a trident um, that you, that was like stolen or whatever, so that we can, I don't know if we can bust down the door. There, there was like a, a wall that looked like it was fixed. Okay, so this is like a person. Let's, uh, before we talk to them, let's figure this out. Please be careful around the Haunted Manor bookcases. Read the book titles carefully. In fact, it'd be easier if you just didn't touch them at all. Okay, cool. Give me, uh, boo. Wait, can I check again? Okay. What is this, cigarette machine? That's interesting. Indentation, something missing. Nice, which wood? Nice. Okay, cool. New map. Very nice. Very nice. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, I don't know. Well, we can explore this area. That's fine. Haunted Hilltop. Oh, yeah. What was this? Signpost. The dungeon which would haunt a mayor of the crypt. Ooh, the crypt. I'm assuming there's no enemies since there's like an NPC. Okay. Oh, there are. Okay. Um, do we want to? I think we're just gonna use regular bullets on this person. Oh, they like jump. <laughs> You step on them, and they get all squishy. Yeah, I'm gonna try to get this dude in the, in the trap. Cause these bear traps are awesome for killing guys. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Come over here. Yeah, right in the trap. Bop. Nice. 
Thank you. <laughs> Where are you? Yeah, exactly. Okay, so five hoots. Oh, okay, gotcha. So we ring the bell five times. It's really loud. <laughs> Let's uh, explore more. Okay, so I can go down there. Oh, I like the eyes behind that. If you're doing maintenance on Hana Manor or trying to access Ocean Kingdom, you need the crank handle. It's locked in the safe in the southeast utility corridor. Code for the safe is something to do with the crypt, I think. What we got here? Banana peel. No good. I like the music. Oh, okay, there's a grenade. Nice. We're going to get that grenade. Like I said, I really wish that I could, like, melee. But, like, like you can't smash that with your gun? Like this, too. I mean, I'm sitting pretty good on handgun ammo, which uh, is great, but it's also... Oh, here we go. Here's a memo. Glass bottle of red caps can be broken open with cost of a single handgun bullet. You can see what's inside before you decide if you want to break it. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of cool. I like that. Um, let's, uh... I'm gonna ring this five times. Okay, yeah, so we, we were just gonna open that up. Um... Oh, do you not make any more noise? Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, so we're going to talk to the lady. So we're going to shoot these. Nice. Oh, you can like... Alright, let's talk. Hello? Uh, what are you doing? I'm trying to get through the store. Julie. You're not going to ask who this person is? I mean, yeah, there's another way around. Because we're... Oh, I'm pointing at the screen. You can't see it. Hmm. Okay, well, we're going to go through... We're going we're gonna to check out the northern areas first. We're going to go in here first, which is the, the dungeon. <laughs> okay. Let's go, let's go in the dungeon. That, that light really doesn't do anything. Okay. What we got here? The deadly mermaid in prison for crimes against nature. If only they would do that today. Haha. -ha. Okay. It doesn't open. What we got here? Some shackles. My ankles would never fit those. Probably for the best. Okay, so we got some, uh... Oh, it's probably a puzzle of the four, four people. Talk to the NPC. Make sure you've seen all their dialogue before moving on. If you see a speech bubble above their head, try talking to them again. Okay. That's nice. Some bones. Oh, do I get a tool to, like, break the bones up? Nice. I'm not good at computers. Oh, this is the 90s. Yeah, okay. I was like, what? <laughs> oh. Okay, cool. So I need a disc for that. Oh, there's definitely something in here. 100%. What's the sign? What does this say? We had a complaint from a parent about the depiction of alcohol in the mermaid cage. Of all things to complain about, I told her it's not an alcohol bottle, it's a bottle of highly corrosive acid. That seemed to placate her. <laughs> yeah, right. The big bad wolf in prison for crimes against nature. <laughs> oh, okay. But I can't I can't open the doors. But you can see that there's a bottle of Yeah. A bottle of something in there. Oh, that's the bottle of alcohol they're talking about. This right here. Which I don't know if I could shoot it. I don't think I want to. It looks like a large antidote. 
Okay, what is this? The Deceptive Serpent. <laughs> nice. BCE. You got some handgun ammo in there. Nice. And this is... The Violent Cyclops. Okay. Ah! Okay. Oh, there's like a note on there. Atlanta Globe. South American gold mine linked to local landowner. Reports have emerged detailing the activities of a recently re revived Brazilian gold mine. Apparently, the site near the north coast of the state of Para is currently operating as one of the most profitable gold mines in the America, selling to at least two major in international companies. But why, you ask? Are we reporting this in the Atlanta Globe? Recently surfaced, gold mine is in question of actually... In question, it's actually owned by local landowner and businessman Edward Crow. Most readers probably only know him as the eponymous owner of Crow Country Theme Park here in Atlanta. And indeed, it seems that there has been some effort to cover up Mr. Crow's connection to this profitable gold mine. While eyebrows are certainly being raised at this revelation, at least we have finally discovered the source of Crow's vast wealth. Okay, what we got here? <laughs> yeah, let's let's touch the button. Okay, cool. I don't know if that actually hurt me or if she screamed because of, of like... Oh, no, my condition's good. Nice. It's kind of... Kind of cool. Oh, what we got here? A little vent? That I can't... What is that? I can see through the other room? I don't even know if I'm... Yeah, I'm off map. Okay. What we got here? Nope. Power switch for the poor periphery elevators is in Tolman's office. Yes, the other side of the park. Yes, it means you're in the wrong place. Okay. What we got here? Box of Magnum. Why? Why is Magnum stuff like? It's a 215. So I got I got the laser sight for the Magnum in the last episode from the uh, cyborg crow's eye. Watch out for gas traps. You can smash them to safe distance with a single handgun bullet. Okay, cool. Can I can I crawl through? I don't see the gas traps. Okay. <clears throat> like, can I crawl through here? No. I mean, obviously you can shoot through the wall, but I can't see what I'm supposed to do. Yeah, gas traps. Oh, can I shoot that? No, the door won't let me shoot anything past it. I mean, I can try, but it's probably going to be a waste of ammo. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Alright, well, I think that's all I can do here. Well, maybe. I don't know. We'll come back. Obviously, we're not done. I wonder if there's going to be enemies now. Yeah. Oh, little dudes. Little dudes underneath. Do I want to kill them? I might want to kill them. I think they poison you. And poison seems pretty bad. Plus, we seem to have a decent amount of, uh... Like, can I shoot that? No, I can't shoot through the door. Yeah. Okay. So <clears throat> we obviously need to come back here. A lot of stuff we need to do because uh, we can't open up a lot of items back there. I see like ammo, health kit. Okay, so the dungeon. I think we've explored. So now we're gonna go through the. Um, we'll talk to this lady. Alice, I think that was her name. <coughs> Julie. What was that place called? Witchwood? And then the other place is... Hilltop Horror? Oh, Haunted Mariner. Okay, yeah. Let's try the... 
Anything? Anything? Okay. We're gonna go to Haunted Manor. I wonder if I can shoot the bird. Maybe? Should I? No. Can't shoot it. Okay. Haunted Manor. Is that a... Is that a ghost? Looks cute. I wonder if I can smash the, uh... Bottles. Oh, spooky! Tall wooden crates can be broken up with the cost of a single hand bullet. No guarantee you'll find anything useful. Okay, well, yeah. That's what we, uh, thought. Bookcase. Inconsequential by Anonymous. The Flames of Hell. Okay. Maybe we don't want... Oh, look at that! Fortune telling machine. Cool, cool. I like it. It's a window. It's not real. It's just a picture. Globe. Hmm. Is this making the noise or is there a phone? Ah, oh, okay. Hello? You came back. Who is this? I'll admit, I'm glad to see you're up and about. Oh, the tenacity of youth. Okay. Interesting. Painting. Harmony will fade. Beginner's Guide to First Aid. Nice. Thank you. Can I shoot these? Yeah, I can. Oh! Little baby. Melody of the dead. The clocks need regular winding, but please don't attempt it without the correct tool. Okay. Hit a button. It's a large clock. Okay, okay. Pull in the middle of the clock face. Yeah, I don't have an item. Oh, who is this guy? Painting of a demon. Adramelic, the undying, blamed for many deaths. Okay. His mouth is a deep hole. I refuse to put my hand in there. <laughs> Song in a cage. What is this? Consequential. Yeah, okay, already read that. Um, this is the. Okay. Alright, let's talk to this dude. You gonna come, and come get me? Got him. He's kind of cute. Can I shoot him? Can I shoot him? Oh, I can. <laughs> yeah, and the police. All right, so there's this. My mom used to make me practice every day. Oh shoot. Okay, so we have to play a four note medley. Oh, are you kidding me? I gotta read music? Because that looks like a. So, yes, yeah, you see? That looks like piano keys, right? Okay. That looks like a note. <laughs> Oh, there's a box of handgun ammo. Nice. Thank you. Am 
Melody of the Dead, yeah. Alright, so... Two black keys, four white keys. Yeah, so it'd be... These four. No. Huh, interesting. Oh, that would have been it. Oh, I get it. Okay. Yeah, so it's one, two, three. Huh. It's not that. I figured it would have been that one. Oh, uh, okay. So we have Huh. Interesting. I don't remember that. I feel like if I knew my music better, I'd be able to get this. I could probably brute force it. Because I feel like this is like this. But maybe there's like this one. supposed to know what this is? I feel like I should use one of the uh, one of the tips. Look at that little guy. It's cute. Okay. Well, that was helpful. Oh, F A D E. Uh, okay. Nice. Wait, he hasn't been there the whole time. D E A D. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay, cool. <laughs> What's this one? Cage. Oh, that's funny. I like that. Nice. Oh, look at this little guy. Oh, and he follows me? He's kind of cute. It's a mushroom. I'm a little mushroom boy. <laughs> okay. I use my mushroom magic to grant you a wish. What is it that you wish? Um, I guess that's it. Okay. Okay, that's interesting. 
Okay, so we're gonna go through here. So, so I'm guessing two things. A, you get a flamethrower. B, you come back to homeboy, little mushroom boy, and he uh, improves your flamethrower range. I wonder if the flamethrower is good. I wonder if it's like a you beat the game special weapon type thing. Look at this dude. What a butthead. And I have I don't have anything to help me kill him. Come on. You gonna you gonna come this way? Come on, homie. Oh, oh. That was a bad step. Squish. Oh, you got you got a homie over here too? Okay, come on. Come around that corner, buddy. No? I know, I know you have an indigestion. Okay, well, I guess. Step. Is that a trip mine? Looks like a trip mine, right? Or is it just the, uh. No? Oh, maybe it's just the way that the, uh, floor. Oh, where am I? Am I on the other side of that, uh. Because this looks like the same type of dilapidated wall, like the other area that I couldn't get to. Maybe. Maybe I'm on the other side of the dungeon. Oh, I am! Ha! Ha! What? I've already checked this one? Okay. Watch out for small explosives laying on the ground. They're rigged to blow up when touched. Keep a keen eye. Some look fairly familiar to other items that you've seen. Oh, that's, uh... That sucks. Oh. Kaboom. What is this? It's a door. I don't think it's locked. Obviously, we, we want to go in there. Legal summons, final warning. Sent your letter 14 days ago. I've not heard back. Serious matter demands your immediate attention. You should know that Elaine Marshall's family have appointed a lawyer. A case against you is being prepared as they write this letter. Well, that looks uh, dangerous. I don't think I want to touch that. Oh yeah, is this a, uh... Nice. Okay, cool. Look at you! You... Okay, I guess I'm gonna have to use that. I don't want to, but... Ah! Well, that was a waste. Variety of cleaning products. Strongly bleach. Still a dark stain on the floor. What were they trying to clean up? I don't know, but I'm gonna take this. Small tank of gasoline. Oh yeah, for my uh, flamethrower that I'm apparently going to be getting sometime soon. Ah. Okay, so this is how I get back here. Nice. Okay, I'll take it. So what is in here? Is that just to show me that there's something on the other side? They have a lot of cigarette machines. Tolman's records. Alarm trigger 215. Two more guest appears in the pool room this time. I made sure the cameras were running, so we have proof they came out of the pool. They're worse than the first. Broken, wrong shape, falling apart. I feel heartless describing them so, but I have no other words for them. Boss said we wouldn't be able to move them like we did with the first guest. He spent 23 minutes trying to talk to them. Then he shot them both. Holy crap. Okay. Oh, opened it. Thank you. Is this like an employee lounge or something? Huh. Uh, there's a lot of... Uh... Yeah, see that looks dangerous. Crow moved the electric battery charger to the southeast underground level. I know that means you won't have access to it anymore. I think that was the idea. Oh. Lady, you alright? That is heavy buzzing. She like... <laughs> I ask if she's alright. Nice. Yeah, we're gonna come back to you. Oh, there's a map. Nice. 
Okay, stat pile. Oh, and this gets to the backside of that other one. I'm pointing. Again, y'all can't see where I'm pointing. Nice, okay. Staff hallway, crow's office. Oh, that's the electric one. Okay. What is this elevator? This is like fatal. Fatal error. That sounds terrible. Okay. Uh, what's up, lady? Are you alright? Uh, my head. I threw up. You were attacked. I feel dizzy. I have something that might make you feel better, at least for a little while. Yeah. Ended up. Oh. Thanks. I think that actually helped. Oh, I'm so rude. What's your name? Mara. Thanks. I'm Natalie. Natalie Crow. Oh, it's the daughter. What are you doing here, Mara? I'm actually looking for your father, Edward Crow. What on earth do you want with him? Follow the missing report, didn't you? Yes, I did. You hear who they sent? Yep. Major Mar Forest. But you're so <laughs> young. What about the man I spoke with on the phone, Detective Harrison or something? Couldn't make it problem with the scar. He's not in there. Been out for hours, and I haven't heard a sound. I'd still like to take a look inside. Don't you know how to get in? That's going to be difficult. You need a key. It's a big fancy gold one. Gold key, got it. You don't have to turn off the electrified door handle. How do I do that? No idea. It wasn't electrified the last time I was here. Father must have only recently had it installed. What is he hiding? Yeah. I mean, we could go through here. Obviously there's a... Uh, yeah, we'll go through there. Um, or... Do we want to go through this area and potentially be able to save? I think that's a good idea. Yeah, we're hitting we're hitting our thirty our thirty minutes. What we got? What we got? It's empty. Just a little pop and squat. All right. Yeah, we're gonna go up here. We're gonna get to the save room because there's only the one I found so far. Oh. Oh, that's not creepy at all. It's the fairy. <laughs> Someone for maintenance, please varnish the Ocean Kingdom storage room door. Or else just replace the door entirely. It's made of old wood. It's starting to crumble. It's not exactly fire safe. What's that? It's a grenade. You know. I, uh... We might just uh, we might just episode complete here. Yeah, before we start whatever this is with this. Oh, and there's. Is, I, I can't tell if those are feet or if that's like uh, benches. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and stop the episode here. Um, next episode we'll investigate this area, see if we can even do anything. If not, we got a couple more places to check out. So uh, yeah, Crow Country episode three. Hope everybody's enjoying the content so far. If you are, if you're not subscribed. Please continue on this journey with us. Hit that sub button. If you like the video, please like it. And leave a comment below if you're enjoying it so far. So it's going to do it for me today. We're going to do episode four very, very soon. So check that out. But we will see you in the next video.